Well, praise God, praise God. Welcome to another incredible edition of Mana 2021. I, I, I just know that today will be an incredible day, an incredible time in your life. Look, please begin to press the share button right now because you need to bring in all your friends, all your contacts, everyone that can get in, do that now. Press the share button, press the like button, begin to do that right away. But I tell you, it's a time for your life. It's an incredible time. I see you there, Let, uh, Leticia, Leticia, yes, I see you. And just keep, keep pressing the share button, keep pressing the like button. Listen, it's going to be exciting. The word of God is true. Let's pray for a minute. Father, I thank you for your word. The power behind your word. Let your word bring life. Do what man cannot do. And take all the glory. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. You know, I, I, I know this is your day. Now, first of all, let me uh, thank those of you that yesterday was my birthday. And interestingly, many in the Mana family um, sent in a lot of birthday blessings and wishes. and uh, But also, there were some of you that even sent in money. You sent in all kinds of uh, 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 physical things to, to bless me on my birthday. I thank you. May God do for you what you can never do for yourself. In Jesus' mighty name, I thank you that in your time of celebration, you will have people to celebrate you. When you need people, God will give you people. Your celebration will never cease. I thank God for you and the blessings of God rest upon your life permanently. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. I'm, see, I'm seeing names there. Uh, Ologa, uh, uh, Godwin, and uh, I see Gina Chino. I see so many, many, many of you. Well, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much again. Um, let me, let me, uh, I, 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 have, I have so much to try to do today. But first of all, we must go to the Word of God. When you look at John chapter 11, verse 43, the Bible says, and, 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 and you would permit me to, to use my own words and put it in my own words and kind of summarize it. The Bible says that Jesus cried out with a loud voice and he said, Lazarus, come forth. And in verse 44, the Bible says that he that was dead came forth, bound hand and foot. Now, now I'm going to stop there. Because we will pick it up again. He that was dead came forth. He did. He came forth. But he was bound hands and feet. Or hand and foot, like the King James put it. So he came forth, but he was bound. He came forth, but he was bound. Listen to me very carefully. You see, any breakthrough that has limitations and restrictions is not real breakthrough. Did you hear what I just said? It is not a real breakthrough. You see, the intention is deception. It's coming from the pit of hell. The purpose is to make you accept something that is less than the best. Listen to me. Real breakthrough will make you the best. Real breakthrough will give you the best. Real breakthrough will bring you to a place in life that you can call the best. That is the real breakthrough. Now, now let, 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 let me take you to a, to, to a scripture. If you, if you look at Exodus chapter 8, verse 24, Moses, and, and please keep pressing the share button. Keep pressing the share button. I, 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 I'm, I'm seeing Murphy. I see Charles. I, I see, oh my goodness. Oh, that's Charles right there. Oh my God, that's fantastic. Now, Exodus chapter 8, in verse 24, you see Moses at this place in that verse, he, he, he commanded a swarm of flies all over Egypt. So the whole nation was covered with flies. 
And so in verse 28, Pharaoh was so troubled that he said to them, he said to, to, to Moses and to Aaron, he said, you can go, you can go, but you will not go very far. You, you, see, you, see, you see what I'm saying? That's, that, that's, that's the deception. It's not real breakthrough. You see, it's not real breakthrough. Do, do you understand what I'm saying? It is not real breakthrough. Real breakthrough will give you the best. But you see, look at look at what Pharaoh is saying. He said, you, you are free to go. In other words, you are free to go, but I have put a line of restriction and limitation. There are many kinds of limitations in life and restrictions in life. But the worst is the one that comes from your family bloodline. The limitations and restrictions that come from your family bloodline. There are families where people don't live beyond 50 years. Once they get to 50, they die. There are families where the male children amount to nothing. I'm telling you, some of you know what I'm saying is true. Now, there are some families where the female children cannot be married. They don't get married. You just see them there, they don't get married. There are some families where the female children are allowed to get married, but they cannot have children. And, and, and there are many of you like that watching right now. You, you are in that situation. You are, you are struggling with that. You, you, you can't get pregnant. You get pregnant, you lose the baby. Some of you, you've lost, you've lost babies two, three, four, five, six, seven times. Ah, in the name of Jesus, if I be a man of God, I begin to speak to you. I speak to your womb. I speak to your body to hold a child, to take a child and hold a child for nine months and give birth to a baby. In the name of Jesus of Nazareth, let the miracles begin to happen in Jesus' name. Listen, there are some families, there are some families some, where the female children, listen, they are allowed to have children, but they are not allowed to get married. Now, what do I mean by that? The, 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 in, in such a family, you will see some of the, the females, the, the ladies, a, a, you know, a man will just rent a house, a house for, for her and be paying the rent and she will just be having babies. He won't marry her. She's just there. You know, or there are some of them that will be in their father's house and will just be having babies for different men. And, and that's the way it is. And, and there are families like that. There are families where people cannot go far in schooling. For example, there are families that are restricted to primary school. There are families that are restricted to secondary school. There are some families where they are even allowed to get to university. You get a degree but you don't achieve anything with your degree. And there are many of you who are watching. For the last 15 years, you have a degree, you have the paper, but nothing can come out of it. You, you have even tried to do some things with your hands, but it's not working. With all the knowledge you have, nothing seems to be working. And that's why you are watching this. I will not accept that partial breakthrough. Don't accept it because I join you to reject it. It's coming from the pit of hell. It's a deception. The best is for your life. The best is for your, for your marriage. The best is for your home. The best is for your children. The best is for your job. The best is for your business. The best is for your life. The best, the best. It is the best, the best. God has this mind to give you the best. You know, one of my pastors shared with me how when his father was about to die the father sat him down and told him the restrictions in their family and and the two very important restrictions in their family in that very family and the father said son nobody in this family goes far in schooling they they don't go far don't they don't go to university so please son don't try to go because if those who try to get to university if they can get there you see the this the, 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 the restriction sometimes will cause problems for them and they really cannot but if they are able to push through and they get to university they die he he, he said son so forget about university he said nobody in this family builds a house they don't you see so generally they don't obstacles no resources things will happen to stop them from building a house but those who push through and force themselves and build a house they die so he said son two things don't try to go to school to university level don't try to build a house 
If you observe these two things, you're okay. Just stay like the way you are and things will, will be okay. But he kept listening to me preach. He kept listening to me preach. And he said, no, no, no. I'm, I'm not going to accept this. And in the name of Jesus, he went on the fast. He broke that fast. Then he pushed for it. He went to university. He got his degree. He's still alive. But you know, he didn't stop there. He built a house. I went physically to dedicate the house. He's alive today. He's one of my pastors. He's doing well. God is blessing him. He has children. And God is doing great things in his life. I, I prophesy on you. In the name that is above every other name. That devil is a liar. He cannot stop you. You, he will not put restrictions. He will not tell you you can't go beyond this point. He will not tell you you cannot do this. You cannot go beyond this. You, you, you are restricted to this. Listen, listen to me. This is satanic. It's satanic. Israel was supposed to be in, in Egypt for only 400 years, but it went on for 430 years. The woman with the issue of blood in the New Testament, listen to me, a, a, a woman's menstrual cycle, well, her menstruation period, if it's very long, five days, six days, some just three days, all right? But this woman was menstruating for 12 years. Satan has a way of extending suffering. He, he extends it by the restrictions he puts in families and in people's lives. And, 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 and I sense that many of you hearing me right now, you are suffering under these restrictions. But listen to me, you are a child of God, and I am a man of God, and I begin to speak into your life. In the name of Jesus of Nazareth, I break that thing. Lose your grip and hold, and let that boy go. Let that girl go. Let that man go. Let them go. Release them. In the name of Jesus, I break the line. I break the line. You will step over that line. Step, go ahead. In the name of Jesus, I speak into your life that the Spirit of God begins to carry you on eagle's wings. In the name of Jesus, you will go further than your parents. You will go further than anyone in your family. Things, things are going to begin to turn around for you. You become an example, a testimony. You become a reference point. You become the one that everyone will look up to. The one that, that people will begin to celebrate. I see celebration in your life. Listen to me. Look, there are some of you that, that sent in prayer requests. There are many. Henry, reside, you reside in Saudi Arabia. You want me to pray for favor to get promotion and, and upgrade in the place of employment. Ernest, you reside in Sweden. You, you want my prayer to turn around uh, the current employment as a lab technician. Peter, you live in Zimbabwe. You're from Zimbabwe. You want my prayer for a personal spiritual encounter with the Holy Ghost. You will get it. Moses, from right here in Delta State, you want my prayer for divine intervention in, in, uh, 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 in a situation that you're facing right now. From, yes, and, 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 and listen, there are people from all over the world who are asking for prayers for the fruit of the womb. That's exactly what I'm saying. This is the time. Wherever you are, one, one of, if you are one of these names I have mentioned, in the name that is above every other name, Every satanic restriction in your life, I command it to break. I command that restriction to break. I break that line for you and I pull you and I, I pull you over the line. In the name of Jesus, you will do what your mates could not do. You will do what nobody in your family was able to do. You will get pregnant. I speak into your life, Henry. Yes, God upgrades you. God grants you favor. I speak into your life, Ernest. In the name of Jesus of Nazareth, God does a miracle to move you from a lab technician to wherever you want to be. It's the best is for you. In the name of Jesus of Nazareth, I speak to Peter. I break you loose. You will have a personal encounter. Let the Holy Ghost come upon you in a powerful, powerful way. In the name of Jesus of Nazareth, Moses, in Jesus' name, there is a divine intervention coming your way. I command the enemy to, to be stopped. I stop him! 
from, from, from taking over your life and ruining your life in Jesus' name of Nazareth. And I speak to all these many different women across the globe from different continents that are speaking and asking for the fruit of the womb. In Jesus' name, I speak into the life of your husband. I speak into his body. I speak Yes, life into his body. I speak into your womb that as you meet, miracle will happen. In the name of Jesus, in the next nine months, you will carry a baby and you will testify. I speak it, I release it, I cause a release, I rebuke the devourer. I command Satan, lose your grip and hold and let them go. In Jesus' name of Nazareth, let miracles happen. And I feel them happening. Go ahead and lift your hands with me. Begin to give God praise for breakthrough. I tell you, real genuine breakthrough. Begin to thank God. I believe it. It's done. In the name of Jesus of Nazareth, it's done. Now, now stay with me. In Exodus chapter 7 verse 1, God said to Moses and is saying to you, I have made you a God to Pharaoh. Very, very important. I have made you a God to who is Pharaoh? Now, if you go to the original translations, there are about three different uh, 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 translations that translate the word Pharaoh. Now, but the one I'm interested in, the word Pharaoh is translated as nakedness. Now, what is really nakedness when you are looking at it from a spiritual point of view? It, nakedness speaks of shame. You see, so Pharaoh is the spirit of shame. Now, many of you watching, you are, you are listening, you are following me, you are with me right now. And, and, and th there are events and circumstances that are making you ashamed. You, they, they are putting you in, in a situation where, where you, listen to me, shame, this, this shame is, is from the pit of hell. I rebuke the spirit of shame, the spirit of Pharaoh. You are a god to Pharaoh. That means you have control over Pharaoh. It means you can tell Pharaoh to go and he must go. In the name of Jesus, I challenge the spirit, the spirit of shame. Whatever brought you shame must bring you fame. You see what that, I'm telling you, whatever, I'm, I repeat myself, whatever brought you shame must bring you fame. Whatever made you cry must bring you laughter. It is your season. I speak that your season changes. God controls the times and the seasons. I break you free and I say the spirit of shame should go. Whatever brought shame to you in any form, in any way that brought shame to your children, brought shame to your home, to your life, to your job, to your business, in any way shame has visited you. I come against that spirit. Spirit of shame, spirit of Pharaoh, go! In the name of Jesus, I command you to go. Go, 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 go. In the name of Jesus, go. Never come back again. I speak. And, and as I'm telling you, as I'm speaking right now, that spirit leaves you. I, I see so many people that are connecting with me. Uh, I'm excited. I thank God for you. Just keep connecting. And God is doing great things. The spirit of shame will not sit on your life. You will not be a victim of shame. In the name of Jesus, I refuse to allow you be a victim of shame. Celebration is your portion. But also, I want you to look at Jeremiah chapter 46, verse 17. The Bible says here that Pharaoh, the king of Egypt, is but a noise. A noise. Pharaoh is a noise. And we are going to tell that noise to shut up and be quiet and stop. But he didn't stop there. He goes on. Look at it. They look at that verse. Look at the last part of the verse. It says there that his appointed time has passed. You see? So, so he, he's prolonging his stay in your life. He's not supposed to be there anymore. That's what it means. You see? The, the Pharaoh has an appointed time. There is an expiring date for what you are going through. You are supposed to be out of that problem. Like I said earlier, Israel was supposed to be in Egypt for 400 years, but they ended up being there for, for, for 430, extra 30 years. Extra 30 years. I talked about the, the woman with the issue of blood. I'm just repeating myself to, to, to get this across to you so that you, you, you really grasp what I'm saying. A woman, when she measures every month, it's usually some three days, some four days, some five days, at the most six days. 
But this woman mesurated and kept mesurating every day for 12 years. The spirit that is extending suffering in your life, the spirit that is keeping you under lock and key for you to suffer and putting restrictions on your life, I come against you, Pharaoh. I come against you, devil, you spirit from the pit of hell. In the name of Jesus, go, go, go. Take away your hand. Remove your hand. Your time has expired. It is over. It is, it is ended. You cannot. This childlessness ends now. In the name of Jesus of Nazareth, I command the miracle of conception to take place right now. In the name of, let it happen. In the name of Jesus, let it happen. Let it happen. Let it happen. In the name of Jesus, I command it to happen. I command it to happen. I release that child to come into your womb. I, co I command Obasayidi, Sambari Adakasi, Kormanasani, Ramasamanda, Ibakosita, Ikasada. You know, a couple visited me today and they are actually by next month, December, celebrating 50 years of marriage. I knew them probably about close to 40 years ago. And, I, and she, the, the, the lady was reminding me of how she had her last child. I, I, we were in their house. I was there in their, in their home. This was, this was, I don't know, 25, I don't know how many years ago now. 25, 30 years ago, I was in their home and we were praying together when the Spirit of God told me that she was going to have another child, one more child. And then, and she, she looked like, no, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. But I said, look, it's going to happen in the name of Jesus of Nazareth. And, and she had a beautiful girl. And that girl today is grown up. In fact, they, put, they got me to talk with her. She has her own children. She is telling me she was going to bring uh, her children to me to see her children. Isn't that exciting? I'm telling you, if you could not have a child, it's going to happen now. It's going to happen. I'm telling you, some of you, you will know that you're pregnant before the year runs out. But I'm telling you, at the most, the first quarter of 2022, you will have a testimony. The doctors, the tests will, will confirm that you are carrying a child. It must happen. And, and in nine months, we will count the nine months and you will bring forth your baby. And in the Mana family, we will join you to begin to celebrate. In, in, in fact, let me just say this. I almost I forgot that. That some Members of the fa uh, Mana family physically came to worry to, to, to participate yesterday in my birthday celebration. And and by the way, we have jubilee going on right now. There's a great we're having a great time here. It started since Sunday, uh, and and every day we're having incredible speakers. Today we have Jerry John, and 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 uh, I, I, he he is not a, a, what you would call a professional pastor as such. He's a businessman, but God has blessed him tremendously, but he has the word and he's going to be speaking a lot in the area of finances to change your your, your understanding and conception and to, to help you understand how to walk in, in, in abundance, how to walk in a new level of life of financial breakthrough and financial satisfaction, the mysteries of, of money and how it works, what is, that, what is behind money. I'm telling you, God will use him to, to bring a powerful word today. We start at four o'clock. So if you can come physically, come. But if you, if you are far away somewhere in different parts of the world, try to hook up with us. I don't know. Uh, they will tell you how that will be done. And because it, it, this goes on every day. Uh, uh, I don't know. Those of you who are familiar with Mike Abdul, he's going to be singing and Monique, two incredible uh uh, artists, music artists will be on stage today also. So you need to hook up or you need to come physically, come to the International Gospel Center along Ajamemoga Road. In fact, if you enter Wari and just ask for where we are, they will direct you. But I feel the power of God, the Spirit of God that is mighty and strong upon your life. I speak in the name of Jesus. Celebration is your portion. In the name of Jesus, the time appointed for Pharaoh has expired. It has expired. He can no longer remain in your life. It is over. In the name of Jesus, Pharaoh, you are gone. The spirit 
of Pharaoh has lifted from you. In the name of Jesus, I declare it right now. Now, listen to me. You've got to learn this prayer with me. I don't know if I've, I've, I've taught you, but if, if, I, if I haven't or you were not watching when I taught it, that you've got to stay with me. Now, it goes like this. It goes like this. This is very important. And, and then I'm going to begin to try to close this. But what? Well, listen very carefully. My name is Ayo Orishe Jafo. I am a child of God through Jesus Christ. I have a vision. I am on a mission. My final destination is heaven. I am under authority. And so I exercise authority. Now, listen to me. You say that with me. I'm going to repeat it again. Let's say it together, everybody. So you mention your name. My name is Ayo Orishe Jafo. I am a child of God through Jesus Christ. Uh -huh. I have a vision. I am on a mission. My final destination is heaven. I am under authority, so I exercise authority over the spirit of Pharaoh. And I say to Pharaoh, say it with me, I say to Pharaoh, I say to the spirit of Pharaoh, it is time to go, 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 go. Live my life, live my home, live my, yes, live my business, live my job. I pursue you. I will not have partial breakthrough. I will have a complete breakthrough. In the name of Jesus of Nazareth, I receive, I receive, and I receive. I hope you said that. Say it again. I receive, I receive, and I receive. In the name of Jesus. One more time, say it again. I receive, and I receive, and I receive. In the name of Jesus. I tell you, God is doing great things. I know people are healed. People are set free. Miracles are happening. You need to use our phone lines, call, and then also send, send SMS to us. I want to hear your testimonies. And I know there are lots of testimonies, breakthroughs, so many that are